Oils are back in action and many people are buying hats and jerseys to support their team. But a Kansas City woman says she brought or bought rather crummy merchandise from a website that looked legitimate. Here's KCTV 5's investigative reporter Angie Rocono with a closer look at knockoffs. We've told you about unlicensed merchandise before. It was a big problem during the World Series. And now we're hearing about fancy websites that look real and they sell items like this. And those companies are based out of China. And to the right field corner, deep, gone. Club and Mondesi at second. It looks like the real thing, and it even says it's the official Royal store. Pick your favorite player, and guess what? The jersey is even on sale. It's a home run until the items come in the mail. Look at this. I'm really upset. Thread coming off everywhere. Like a two-year-old made this. Terry Key is a huge Royals fan. She bought tickets for her and her two sons for Mother's Day. The tickets are real, but the jerseys she bought off this website are not. This is what came in the mail. Oh, something is not right. I just broke down like, wow, I can't believe this happened to me. Cheap material, stitches unraveling, and check out this patch. It was $39.99. I just thought there was a sale they was having, so I just jumped on it and ordered. I didn't know. Her authentic jerseys came from China and she's less than impressed with customer service. Oh, they said they want to see pictures. They want me to send them pictures. I guess they don't believe that the items are fake. But we do. We emailed the company for a response, letting them know we're going to do a report on them, exposing them for illegally selling fake merchandise. No response. Major League Baseball is doing what it can to crack down on these illegal sales. When you buy a real jersey or hat, you support your local team. And when you buy a fake one, you don't. And you clearly run into quality issues with poor customer service. Angie Ricono, KCTV 5 News.